And coming up all new at six, a land deal on Black Creek may just help ease future flooding there. We're talking about more than 500 acres in Middleburg will be saved for conservation. It's the red area that you see here on this map along the north bank of Black Creek, just south of County Road 220. Our Jessica Clark, the first reporter to go onto the property since the deal to save it went through last week. It takes a four wheel drive and hiking boots to get around this property called Ride Out Point in Middleburg. The tall trees are loblolly pine trees. Rebecca Perry and Jim McCarthy. This whole place is amazing. Are with the North Florida Land Trust and worked to make this land deal happen. A private landowner donated and sold the property. 578 acres in total. To the North Florida Land Trust and to the St. Johns River Water Management District with the goal of preserving it. And what you see is pretty much the way it will stay here. That's primarily because of stipulations the seller put in the contract. It's worth approximately $3 million. Um, we paid $150,000 for it. It's the land you see in red on the north side of Black Creek. It's the same creek that has seen major flooding over the years. We've been through two major floods. That's in the last 10 years Laura Irish has lived on Black Creek. And it got five feet inside the house. So we pretty much had to gut the whole house. Scientists and these conservationists say this recent land purchase will help keep the land acting like a sponge. It acts very much like a sponge. And that could help keep floodwaters here instead of in nearby homes. By stopping development, it prevents increased flooding in the future. If there's a preserve that's going to help with flooding, hallelujah. McCarthy and Perry say saving the land will help the flora, the fauna, and folks nearby. Well, it's something we really want to see more of and be able to, to do more of. In Clay County, Jessica Clark, First Coast News, on your side.